מתעדת אלקוביד בניו יורק, כובשת את מקומה כאחד המקומות הקולינריים המסקרנים והמסוכרים ביותר. מרקוס סמואלסון, השף בבעלים, הגשים את החלום האמריקאי. מתינוק יתום שנולד באתיופיה, אומץ וגדל בשוודיה, הוא הצליח לכבוש את מנהטן בזכות השילובים המופלאים שהוא יוצר באוכל. My name is Marcus Samson. I'm the executive chef. I'm co-owner of Aquavit right here in New York City. I've been cooking all my life. I've been a chef here for about 14 years. I came to New York with a lot of passion and hope. Never would I thought that I would have the chance to see so much as I've done here in New York. It's very exciting to be part of food here in New York. It's always moving. It's very transit, multiculture, multi-ethnic, and always to you always learn something new. There's always a new concept, a new idea opening, which is very, very exciting. As a chef, I always try to pair different things together. And uh, you have to do that tastefully, otherwise it becomes just very confusing for the customer. So I think a lot about texture, aesthetic, colors, also even the, how something smells. Then on the other hand, I always think about, okay, what is this about? This is about seafood, game, and pickling and preserving. Food is also about techniques and history. So that's sort of my spectrum to create these flavors that links back to Scandinavia somehow. Uh -huh. For some person, it might look like mixing. For me, it's a very controlled chaos because that's how we create our food. That's our story. That's our platform. Well, Helga's kitchen, my grandma's kitchen, was my first window into a real kitchen. She has been a professional cook herself, so she ran it as such. Her kitchen was sort of a production place. There was always something to do. You could always pickle the vegetables. You could always make sausage. You could always bake bread. She always was producing food. And if you came to her place, you had to come ready to work. Like, we weren't playing around, like I wasn't tossing a football to her, or I never, never. Every cuisine has some staple dishes that you have to try, and for us it should be the Swedish meatballs, the grovlax, and our herrings. That's the identity of Swedish food. Aquavit has to have great meatballs, and it's something that we, in the cafe, on the cafe side of the restaurant, we take a lot of pride in, because people want them, they want comfort food. We all want comfort food. We all have different comfort food, depending on where you're raised and where you grew up on. Here are the meatballs, the masorites, that are not a food in Sweden, 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 that are not a food in Sweden. In New York, you can be Ethiopian, Swedish, and it's okay and it's, it's normal because everyone in New York comes from somewhere else and everybody has that very mixed background in New York, regardless who you meet. How can you, what, no, can, what kind of say, message can you send? That, uh, if you're passionate about food and if you really uh, love food, anything is possible. You can come with your heritage, whether it's Ethiopian, Israeli, and you can create your own cuisine. Sort of with French background in terms of the food as a foundation, and then you can add in whatever your ethnicity is, and you can go and get it, whether you're in Tel Aviv or New York City, it doesn't matter, or Addis. So. <laughs> Thank you, Marcus. Thank, Thank you. you very much.